What's up? It's me, K Gaines, once again, and this is the first installment of how to do um, modern collage techniques. And today, um, I want to show you how to use shapes to make a collage. And um, I mean, I guess it's questionable whether or not this is a collage, but in the event that you need to put a bunch of pictures together, um, there's ways to do this other than feather tools and vignettes. And if you watch my other video, you'll know that I think that that style is, is dead. Um, I got a couple comments. Yes, if you do it tastefully, any of those tastefully, really, you can still get away f you can still get away with it, but um I think this is just modern in general and this is just something you know, I won't say it's too fresh. I don't want to, you know, stroke my own self, but so this is what we have. Um I was fortunate enough to go to the Rally for Sanity uh presented by uh John Stewart and the Daily Show and um I got to take a couple pictures of some things, and I'll make it bigger so y'all can see, and you'll be able to download it. But this was just one of the stickers some people were giving out. Jesus loves Obama. We found I found um Waldo, and this was like this crazy party dragon. Like it was nuts. Um, so this is just what we did, and uh, I'm not gonna go really, really, really in depth with it. So. Go ahead and open up your pictures that you want. Okay? We'll go ahead and get started from scratch. Go ahead and open up your pictures that you want. I'm going to go ahead and restart all this. And as a matter of fact, well, I'm going to take it back off. And um, this is your blank canvas. What we have here, I made a 1600 by 1200 uh, pixel canvas. Okay? Which is like a wallpaper. So, we're going to make this here. And... Um, I use triangles. You don't have to use triangles. You can use circles. You can use squares. Whatever. Whatever you want to make. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and get started by lining it up. Now, you're going to want to take one of your pictures just to make sure uh, the size is okay. But, um, we'll take this one. And this is of Jesus saying that he loves Obama. Indeed, he does. And you can um, do whatever, like I said, whatever you want. I use triangles. I'm, I currently have a thing for triangles. And just scale your triangle to about the size that you want it. Now, you could go to your custom shapes, get whatever you want, click on the shape, and you draw it by doing like so, and you want to hold shift. If you do not hold shift, it's going to look terrible like this. So hold shift to kind of make it like so and just um, bring it out, drag it out. So um, I think this is decent. I know that the taller ones are going to have less width than the other ones. So we'll go with that. And um, I'm going to hide this layer once again. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay it out. And... Maybe this time I'll do something different for you all. Do something a little different. And I know I have one, two, three, four, five, six pictures. So, um, what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do triangle straight across instead of doing a um, pyramid this time. Just to kind of make it different. And I'm going to, since I know I have six things, I'm going to highlight these three that I already made and duplicate them by dragging it to the new layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep them um, highlighted and I'm just going to flip them like so. Flip them vertically. And I will just, um, I think that's cool right there. And in a perfect world, since I'm a bit anal about stuff like this, I would probably put one over here. As a matter of fact, I think I just might, and we'll just figure out what to do with it later. Uh, because that's not that doesn't sit well with me. So, we'll go ahead and put that right there. And um, you can center it. 
Play where you want it to be at. Play with where you want it to be at. I lost one. No biggie. We'll just bring it down. And I'm, I'm one of those people who doesn't really like to use guides. I don't do clean um, folders and things of that nature. So um, don't pick up all my habits. But just, uh, I guess, figure out what what you like, what you want to do. Um, so this is just the outline. So next we're going to do, we're going to take our pictures and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, we're going to put Jesus over here and I want him to be on this first triangle. So I'm going to put him over here and make sure the triangle is covered up. Well, not all the way covered up. I'm going to leave a little peek. What I'm going to do is I'm either going to press um, command or control if I'm on a PC and I'm going to make sure that that goes to the layer or the triangle that I want. And I'm going to control or command click this uh, triangle with the, in the grade area here. And what that's going to do is that's going to select it. And what you're going to do next is you're going to go back to your layer of the picture, highlight it, and push the um, add a layer mask. And that's just going to clear off the sides. And you say, okay, I have Jesus. What am I? <laughs> I have Jesus. So, <laughs> Take off, unlock the layer is what you're going to do. And make sure that um, your image is highlighted. Okay, not this one, but this one. And what you're going to do is you're just going to make sure you can see a full picture of what, what it is you're looking for. Because even if you do it like that, when you get rid of your triangle, you're going to have a triangle without a side. So... Make sure you get it in a spot where you think that it's it's readable and um, it's not hanging off the edges. So I want you to be able to still see the picture, so I'll keep it right there. And when you're finished with that, go back to locking the layer so that when you want to move it, or if you want to move it, you can move it as a triangle instead of just moving the picture. Okay? And you're going to do that for all of them. Um, you're going to do that for all of them. So we'll do that here, control click, and we will add the layer mask, get rid of locking it, uh oh, didn't mean to do that, must have double clicked, and get in a place where you can see it, lock it back. And we will do it again. I forgot to get my, I forgot to get my picture this time, but no worries to fret, no, no fretting. What we'll do is we'll pick up the picture where it is. And even though I know that it's not in the selection part, you can still add your layer mask. And, um, oops, you can still add the layer mask. And now it looks like it's disappeared. But like I said, when you take off your, when you unlock it, highlight the picture, you'll still be able to grab it and get it like so. So do that. I'll come back. As of right now, that's pretty much it. And that is the technique. And what you can do, you can hide the rest of these triangles if you want. Um, you can keep this one and you can change the color and you can do something with it. Um, you can do whatever you want. Like I have little techniques in here that I used. Um, and if you want to do something to the pictures, uh, you can do something with the pictures. You can, let's, let's add a background. Um, We'll keep it light blue. And, um, let's see. I'm really freestyling right now. We can, um, play with our adjustment levels to kind of do some fun stuff with the pictures. And I'm just going to take the saturation down like I did in the other one. And it's going to take down the saturation of everything. And, uh, we'll go with that. And really... That's really it. I mean, depending on what else you want to make. Um, in the first one here, I just added some little hairlines. And those are my absolute favorite. You just grab the line tool here and you just go crazy. Um, and I just made sure that I stayed within the... Um, like I said, I'm a, I'm a by-eye kind of person. And um, you just make sure you're in line with the... Uh, angles of the triangle 
and just kind of go for it there. Um, and like I said, another tutorial, every time you make a shape, it makes its own layer, so you don't have to worry about creating new layers and things of that nature. So you got that. Um, I probably rally for sanity. Just go ahead and type it in and just do really what you think that you want to do with it. Um, and like I said, you can use circles, you can use the octagon, you can use whatever you want to use. Just try to be as creative as possible. Just try to do as much as possible. Um, and just make it really clean, really sharp. Um, I am, I wouldn't say I'm a minimalist, but I do like to keep a clean design. So that's what you'll see for me mostly. See, for me, this is finished. Um, for some people, it still needs some. I mean, you could throw a texture in the background. This is not finished, but something like this would be finished for me. But um, just play around with it, see what you like. Um, play around with your shapes. You can make your own shapes. And uh, be prepared for the next two installments of How to Do Modern Collages. Holla.